then you can endure a retreat, you know, uh, when you really, once you really, really receive uh, so much uh, uh, Western lineage, uh, uh, the main teachings. Uh, until then, you just prepare yourself. Yeah. Uh, now, what is important is one must try to complete the wando. Uh, uh, you know, wando. Uh, when you refer to a wando practice, uh, we tend to have a uh, this misperception. Uh, uh, we tend to think something very. Uh, Simple, something very uh, less important. Uh, but in fact, wardra is the most important. Uh, wardra is in fact the most important. And uh, many, uh, many of us also have this thinking, uh, sort of uh, wrong thinking, that wardra is only required when you start uh, Dharma practice. Uh, once you you know, become a Buddhist. Uh, once you know about the Yidam practice, when you start doing other practices, the wonder is not that important. Uh, but in fact, uh, wonder begins, it ends uh, when you reach your goal. It's like uh, a building a strong foundation, you know. If lot, every one of us wish to own a beautiful house, uh, yes, we want a beautiful one, a house, and we want to uh, have a really uh, a house that we all want to live in uh, happily forever. <clears throat> but then, without building a strong foundation, uh, instead of hoping of happiness, one day when you start living in this house. The house may collapse, and it may take your life. It, it becomes more suffering uh, than what you expect. So similarly, and uh, even Thomas had clearly stated, uh, there are many gurus, you know, who may have practiced for many, many, many years, and after a certain time, uh, they tend to lose focus, and uh, they become worse than a layman or laywoman. Uh, the reason is because the foundation is not strong enough. So, wonder practice is important from in the beginning, and it is important in the middle, and it is important even at the end. So, this is the practice that requires towards throughout our journey. It's not just now. You know, we require. Uh, 